A lot of people ask if now is the perfect moment to start using no-code tools. Is it the perfect moment to learn no-code tools or to build your next project using no-code tools? Is it too early stage? Is it too late already? In this video, we are going to talk a little bit more about that. Let's go! Before we jump into the content, I just want to quickly introduce myself for those who are new to the channel. Hi, my name is Kyle. I'm the Chief No Code Officer here at the We Are No Code channel. And if you're new here, you want to learn a little bit more about No Code Tools and what you can build with No Code Tools. If you don't want to miss the channel and the future videos we are going to be posting about No Code, just consider subscribing to the channel. And also, if you like the video, just leave a thumbs up on the video. Now, is right now the perfect moment? moment to start learning no-code tools? Yes, I would say it is a good moment. Why? Because no-code's been evolving a lot. And although no-code has been there for a couple years now, it is still a good moment to start learning. Of course, if you could have started learning no-code tools two years ago, it would be even more ideal. It would be even more perfect. But now is still the moment to get started. We are still at very early stage talking about no-code and also talking about no-code tools themselves. So, and you still have a chance to be one of the pioneers, one of the first joining the no-code revolution. And by the way, and year after year, this revolution, this movement is growing and we have more and more no-coders out there and more and more people learning, teaching, talking about it and also building companies and products using no-code tools. So, even though we have more than a decade of no-code tools out there, I would even say that the first no-code tools started to appear in the 80s, but of course they weren't called no-code, but we have tools that were created in 2012, 2013, like Bubble was created in 2012. Webflow came a little bit after that, so it's not completely new. No-code has been there for a couple years now, but it is still new to a lot of people. Like coding, like only 1% of the world population knows how to code, and if we talk about no code, it's even less than 1%. So there is still a long path until no code explodes and more and more people know about it and know how to use no code tools. But for those who know about no code already or had been learning no code for a couple years now, they are in a huge advantage in a good position because they now are able to develop their own applications using no code in a visual way without writing code themselves, without becoming a developer and without having to hire developers to build their own applications. And now also some people are becoming professional no-code developers, which is really amazing. And it's a new opportunity in the market to not only provide services and build no-code projects for other people, but also to work for companies that are going to open positions for no-coders specifically. And believe me, this is already happening. It's not yet a major thing, but we can find specific no-code development positions inside companies already. And I think this is just the tip of the iceberg. This is going to grow exponentially. And also we have some predictions made by well-known and famous established research companies like Gartner saying that in the next couple of years, no-code will explode. A lot of companies will be using and demanding no-code professionals. So guys, yes, this is still the perfect time to jump right in and start learning no-code tools. Even if you want to build your own projects, your own startup business ideas yourself, you want to learn because you want to become an entrepreneur and be self-reliant and be able to build it yourself. Or if you want to join the no-code movement as a profession, as no-code developer, as a freelancer and provide services developing no-code projects for other people or working inside companies, because this is already a reality, but it will grow exponentially. And if you join this movement right now, you will be prepared when the market starts to demand professionals, when the demand starts to grow. If you wait this movement, if you wait this wave, it will be kind of a little bit late, not completely late, but you miss the beginning of the party. And yeah, the ones who are prepared for the opportunities will be able to take the opportunities that will be available in the no-code space. And this is 
is an emerging market. This is a growing movement. And I've been following this movement for a couple years now. And I've only seen this growing year by year. And I think as we are reaching 2023 and 2024, which is when the prediction of this market blowing, then it will be a very interesting conversation. It will be a very interesting place to be at. And if you are prepared or preparing yourself from now on, you will have a bright future ahead of you. So if you want to get started into the no-code space and want to join this no-code revolution, we have an amazing community of founders, entrepreneurs, and no-coders joined together in one unique environment where you can learn entrepreneurship and also no-code. This place is called We Are No Code Academy. This is our academy for global founders. It's a community plus courses plus discounts, information about no-code tools. So it's the perfect environment for you to get started and learn no-code tools, entrepreneurship, and also network with people all around the globe. You don't want to miss this opportunity to join the We Are No Code Academy today. So go here down below and click the link to know more information about it. See you inside the We Are No Code Academy. Let's get you started learning no-code and entrepreneurship skills. Join today. Now shifting the conversation a little bit towards no-code tools themselves. Like, is it a perfect moment to use no-code tools. Well, there are some no-code tools, like I mentioned before, that had been there for a while, like more than 10 years now, and they had been developing tools, the features inside these tools for quite a long time. So they are a little bit more advanced in the no-code game, whereas other no-code tools were created just a couple years back, so they are a little bit more early stage. These newer tools are very exciting, and they are ready to be used, but sometimes they are not as matured as other existing no-code tools that have been there for more time and they have more features, they are more robust, they are more further developed. So it's a little bit of a complicated comparison. So sometimes you are comparing a tool that has only three years old with a tool that has been there for 10 years. Of course, they will be very different and at different stages. But right now I can say that it is already possible to use no-code tools to build amazing projects and even complex projects that can scale over time, that can handle thousands of users and there are ways to get to this specific stage where you have robust solutions built with no code and some other tools can be better for building MVPs, for building the first version of your application to test, validate the market, validate the idea and sometimes you have to understand the differences between the tools to be able to select the best tools and to know when to use what tool for what. So yes, the answer is you can use and you should use use no-code tools even today because they are very powerful the way they are right now. And I believe in the near future, not a long time later, like just in a couple of months, these tools will evolve a lot more. They will have even more features, more capabilities. The tools are evolving way, way faster than I thought. They are just getting better and better every month. We had a couple announcements from major tools with amazing improvements. So I really believe that this is just the beginning. It's not the actual beginning, but it's still early stage. So it's a complicated situation where we already have a lot of people using no code, but a lot of people not using no code. We have a lot of amazing tools and new tools still developing themselves, but it's an amazing scenario because we have amazing opportunities and so much powerful tools and so much examples of people building successful cases in the past nowadays. So it's a bright future ahead. Head. So the bottom line, the conclusion here is yes, it is a good time to start learning no code and start using no code no matter what is the situation because from now on it will only grow, it will only improve and if you join later it will be probably already a saturated market and it will be kind of too late. I wouldn't say it's going to be late and then you couldn't join this movement anymore but I mean if you join first it's gonna be beneficial for you. So my advice to you is don't wait if you're listening about no code right now. It means no code is reaching you at this moment. And later, if you listen, your friends talking about no code or other people talking about no code around you, you realize that it's going to be a little bit late because when everyone knows about it, it means the opportunity came to you before and you kind of waited until everyone knew about it. So yes, it is a perfect moment. I love no code code 
and I'm very excited to be working with no code every day since the past two years now. And I've been working with no code way before that, but not like full time with no code, but it's amazing guys. So yeah, if you ask my advice, join the no code movement as soon as possible. And we are here to help you with that. So if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also leave the thumbs up on the video. So you don't miss any future updates, any future information about the no code space. Don't forget to watch also other videos we have here on the channel and I see you on the next one. Let's no code.